Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to create a neural network which will perform image classification on Cypher 10 dataset. So actually what is Cypher 10 dataset? Cypher 10 dataset consists of 60,032 into 32 colored images and 10 classes in which there will be 50,000 images for training set and 10,000 images are for testing purpose. So a small demo how our project will look like. So I am just going to download an image from Google and I am choosing the truck. Now when I run my GUI application it will give us something like this graphical user interface and in, when we will upload an image it will show the classify image and after clicking on that classify image button it will show the class of that image. So for creating the model I am going to use Google Colab and you can perform it in your on com personal computer if you want to do so but in my case I am just preferring Google Colab uh, waiting for connecting ok connecting well so as usual before creating any model this there are some particular steps so step 1 is importing the libraries and loading the data set so for this model we are going to use the sequential model and there are some layers so I am going to use dense layer, flatten layer and dropout layer. After that we are going to optimize our model using stochastic gradient descent so I am going to import that keras.optimizer import sgt and there are some constraints like max norm it calculates the maximum normalization which is possible and one layer is convolutional 2d for convolutional purpose max pooling layer so we are done importing the libraries now it's time to load the data set so data set uh, cypher 10 data set is provided in with keras as well so we can import it using keras.datasets import cypher 10 and after that we have to load our data set into some variables so data set is already divided into two sets training and testing sets so we are going to use x train y train for training and x test y test for testing purpose and after that cypher 10 dot load data it way it's downloading and done so now let's plot some of our images which are inside the data set for that I am using matplotlib so we can import matplotlib using import matplotlib.pyplot and any alias you want to give it like I have assigned an alias named plt now plt.figure is just for the fixing and size of for that plot figure and that I am sure will show that images show images and it's quite uh, not visible okay now it's good as you can see it look like just like a truck so now coming to step 2 step 2 is data pre-processing in which we are going to one hot encode or categorical encoding with our label set and standardization or normalization on our training set or you can say feature set so first we are going to normalize them so for normalized person uh, normalized purpose we need float values so we are going to convert them to float using dot as type function x train and x test both now for normalizing we will divide every value of x train with 255 and x test with 255 we are choosing 255 because 255 is the maximum value for any pixel now we will convert the label set that is in vector format to binary matrices for classification purpose yeah I missed that that is label set not test set now convert vectors from vectors into 
binary matrices we are going to use two categorical function that is defined in keras dot utils so y train equals to keras dot util dot two categorical y train same with y test oh keras is not defined actually i forgot to import the keras library so import keras and run this cell again and done now let's check the size of our label set that is y train or y set y test so as you can see there are 50000 labels and in 10 columns so now we will store those 10 columns into num classes which we are going to use further in this model now step 3 is model creation as i said we will choose sequential model so first create an object of sequential model that is model equals to sequential now first layer will be convolutional layer so for that we are adding model dot add con 2d and we are choosing the convolutional layer matrix size it's 3 comma 3 and as i had discussed earlier while giving the introduction of the cyber 10 data set i had said the data set has 32 into 32 size images of three colors that is rgb so i am choosing input shape 32 32 3 and for activation purpose activation function i am going to use relu and then one dropout layer to prevent the loss while training then again a convolutional layer but this time we will keep our parameter same that is kernel size will be again 3 comma 3 and one more thing we are using kernel constraints here that is max norm and max norm brackets 3 we are not going to, going to discuss about that after convolution layer we are going to add pooling layer and in pooling layer we are going to use max pooling that is it will always choose the max value from its matrix which whose size is 2 comma 2 after that we are going to add flatten layer then a dense layer with 512 new rooms which is actually an hidden layer after that again one dropout layer just to prevent the test loss or loss in accuracy and then we are going to add our output layer which will again a dense layer so num classes that's 10 and then activation equals to relu not it's not relu it will be softmax i miss that and after that we are going to optimize our model using stochastic gradient descent so for that i am going to create an object for that sgd which is sgd equals to sgd learning rate i am going to choose learning rate equals to 0 0.01 just make sure while tweaking learning rate it should not be too large or not too small okay after that compile and for compile we have to define what kind of loss we have to find so i am going for categorical cross entropy and for optimizer i have already defined it in sgd so same sgd and i guess we are done uh, no errors now we have one more step left in model we have to train our model but before that just let's check summary of our model to see how many parameters we have in our model so as you can see this is the brief summary so we have convolutional layer then dropout then convolutional max pooling flatten dense dropout then again dense so there are actually total 42 lakh 18 thousand parameters Mm, and non trainable parameters are zero so what's its purpose actually in whenever we are creating a model just make sure there are 
very minimum number of a very least non trainable parameters are present now time to train our model so model dot fit training set for validation purpose we are going to use our testing set setting epox equals to 10 epox mean how means how many times we are iterating through our model uh, sorry sample data and batch size 32 so my model is trained we have an accuracy something 77 64 let's check it uh, our accuracy is, is calculated in the our step 4 which is actually evaluation for so in evaluation step we have to check how accurate our model is so for that model dot evaluate and we will pass the testing set so i have an accuracy of 68 or you can say approx 69 percent now time to save our model that is step 5 so model dot save and any name but dot h5 extension should be there or you can say type of file so so as i was working in google collab so i have to download that h5 model which you can find in files tab download and done so now this is the code for gui i have loaded the model and i have defined 10 classes which we already know from the cipher 10 data set that these are the 10 classes which are data which our model can predict and we will run this and the output will be same as it was in when i showed you in demo upload so thank you for watching guys please like share and subscribe